Hey guys, so I wanted to show you my full morning routine, when I get up, how I'm so productive in the morning. The first thing I do is always make my bed, which means I'm never gonna get back into it once it's made. I then have a really large coffee. I probably have more caffeine than I'm supposed to here. However, it's the only coffee that I'm gonna have today. I have three non-negotiables in the morning and the first one is actually filling out my whoop journal and seeing how I slept. This is so important to me because at the end of the day, I am an athlete and I do want to be recovering well. It asks you loads of questions like, did you have CBD? Have you had multivitamins? How are you basically on that aspect? I'll then go in and check my sleep. So I slept for seven hours 38 last night. I always have quite a lot of light sleep and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I always do this just whilst my coffee is brewing. My two other morning non-negotiables are my wellness journal and also a spot of reading. Now it's about seven o'clock and I'll always do my journal first. It basically asks me how I'm feeling, how did I sleep, what activities do I have planned for the day? But the really big one for me is actually how I'm feeling. You guys probably know or you're already aware that I do suffer with anxiety. I have therapy every week and I just think this task is so important for me because however I'm feeling in my head, I can get it down on paper. And once it's down on paper, if I'm feeling good or if I'm not, I will always feel better from doing it. And then at the end of the day, I'll just have a little round up and say how I felt and what I'm grateful for. I'll then go on to reading. So I'll read for around 15 to 20 minutes. And the book I'm reading at the moment is Soul for Happy by Mo Gowder. We recently had Mo on our podcast and I could not recommend that podcast enough. I know I'm biased because it is our podcast, but honestly, it changed my life and it's changed so many other people's already, the amount of feedback we've had. So I definitely, definitely suggest to go and listen to that podcast or read his book. The final thing I do in the morning, and this is now about 7.20, I've just told Alexis to put on soft jazz music because listening to jazz music in the morning is so relaxing and so very peaceful. I will do emails, client work, and my coach school app work. This is a really important time for me because it's more so quiet time where not a lot of people are up yet. So I'm replying to the emails and client messages and doing app plans where no one's awake yet. So it's just me and my work. I will actually do this for like an hour and I feel like it's really important for me to get this done first thing in the morning because then I have the rest of the day to be more creative with my content, what I'm doing and I am a super busy person and I feel personally for me having an extra hour in the morning is super, super beneficial to my productivity. We're off to the gym. It's a little bit later than usual because I had so much on this morning because I was off yesterday and I've got like a bit of I've got a bit of bench and I've also got a high rock session so really hitting it hard with the high rocks workouts go back to last week's YouTube and you'll see the high rock session it's really hard and that's what I've got to work on the moment because me mate competing in high rocks and I'm like super excited but also quite nervous because it's something that I've never obviously done before but then again a lot of things that I've never done before when I give them a go so see you at the gym it's weather it's literally gross. Like we're going into winter. Oh my goodness, my car. Gross, it's all gross. Essential today. Oh my God, it is officially winter. It is frozen. Guys, it's frozen cold. Wearing a cute gym fit. This is actually like, wow, ha ha, look at the nipples. These are both quite old Gymshark and I love them very much. These are the Adapts. Really cute. Love them a lot. You can shut my gym shot link below. We're going to start on bench press. Bit of shoulders, then I'm going to go straight into a high rock session. I didn't train yesterday. No, actually, I did a 6K run, but usually it would be my day training with my coach, Ash, where we do a lot of bench press, a lot of deadlifts, but I didn't want to miss out on the session, so I am doing it today instead. I always, always start with some sort of mobility banded work before doing bench press. I don't know why my face literally looks so much in pain doing banded work, but I will do overhead pressing and I'll do back and forward behind the shoulders just to loosen the shoulders off, get ready. I'd never ever just dive straight into bench press. I also hit three lots of 10 push-ups as well, not push-ups on the floor, but I'll just do them off a bench. So incline push-ups, getting the shoulders ready, getting the chest warmed up before I dive into my first set of bench press.
now that I'm editing this video, I will say my bench press did not feel too groovy today. I always start with no weight on the bar, just getting in the correct position. My whole bench press position has literally changed so much, guys, since I first started doing and practicing for my bench press competition that I'm doing, I think in December. I've not told you that yet, but it will be in December time. These felt really smooth. I will not lie to you, like 50... 55 kg feels really good now. The one thing that I really have to practice is more so pausing a little bit at the bottom of the movement because when you actually do a competition with bench, so like powerlifting, you're going off someone else's command. So I'm really used to, when I train with Ash, he tells me when to pause and he tells me when to press. So this was 55 and it actually felt pretty easy to be fair. I wasn't really sure what rep ranges I was doing this morning. Anything from three to five to six reps, I was happy with. This is where I thought I felt better than I did. So I've been doing 60 kg, 62.5, 65 kg with Ash. So I got Ben to spot me. I don't know why I didn't feel that strong today. Like you can even tell from that first rep, it's a little bit shaky. However, the bar path is really good. I just did a video on this on Instagram, so have a little look. At this point, I actually just gave up and I don't usually do that. I usually really push through, but I was just like, wow, this does not feel how it's supposed to feel. This is where I was just saying to Ben, I'm getting a little bit frustrated just because I have I have set myself this pretty ambitious goal and I love achieving goals, but Sometimes it's quite hard when you feel like the goal is a little bit out of reach. However, I do have a couple of months and I'm just trying to not put too much pressure on myself and enjoy the process. But as you can see by my face here, it does not look that way. Oh guys, that one didn't go too well. I just, mm, I'm getting a little bit frustrated with bench press because I'm competing in it. And uh, that was not very good. My sessions with Ash are loads better, which you can see on the week workouts, but my God, that was frustrating. Moving on to, I guess, part two of the session. I always see bench press now as like this whole separate thing just because I'm putting so much effort into it. Anyway, I just did a little bit of shoulder press, started with, what is that, like 15s or 16s? Started with 16 kg and then just slowly move the weight up. The one thing that I would say with shoulder press is don't have the seat completely upright just because it'll put your shoulders in a pretty poor position in terms of your rotator cuff. So as you can see, I'm actually declining on the bench a tiny little bit. It might feel a bit weird, but I would suggest this and also bring your elbows forward a little bit as well. This was the second and final exercise that I actually did this morning on upper body before I went into my ridiculously hard high rock circuit. I just finished on five lots of 12 lateral raises. So I did heavy bench, heavy shoulder press, and then just some high rep work on lateral raises. I do actually adore lateral raises. I'm not 100% sure why my left arm looks a little bit weaker today than it does usually. But yeah, I just finished on five lots of 12 lateral raises. We are diving in to this brutal number, the run, the sled push, the burpees, the ski erg, and the row. Because me and my sister are doing doubles, we have to hit a certain distance, but we get to do it together, which is actually pretty great because if one of us is literally fucked, we will switch and keep switching. The reason I take off my big Apple AirPod Max headphones is because they fall off when I run, which is actually not a great design for, maybe that's just the way I run. Um, but then also they get really sweaty and a little bit dirty. So would recommend, but maybe not 100% for this type of workout. You're just gonna have to really excuse that angle. I was like, oh, shall I get off? and film but I didn't want to actually disrupt the run because my pace was pretty solid it was around 408 for the first two and then I just dropped it because that was probably a little bit too fast for what I'm going to be hitting anyway and it felt really good I don't love treadmill running I actually really dislike it but did get a ridiculous sweat on I don't know what it is with treadmill running inside and me to be honest it's this whole high rock situation I literally drip in sweat Moving on to what I find the worst exercise. I say this is the worst. So it's sled push with, I think we have 77 kilograms, this is 80. But it's the fact that you do the sled push and then I have to go back into a K run. I didn't practice that today. I did that with my sister and we'll do it again. But I'm trying to really work on my weaknesses. Another weakness of mine, again, high rocks is completely new to me. Like I feel like it's very functional. It's quite like, I guess like crossfit -y, but I love the challenge. 
it's also really important to recognize your weaknesses, I think, for competitions like this and work on those. So the exercises that I'm actually doing today, I would say that I'm weaker at in the whole high rocks event competition thing. Like farmers carry, great, I, I can do that, fantastic. Burpee board jumps, the sled push, and ski erg, for example, I actually find really difficult because they're never in my training. I've been taught how to do ski erg properly from the F45 guys where Meg works and also Megan herself because she nails ski erg and I just burn out quite easily. But my technique, I would say, is definitely better I wouldn't say it's easier, but the fact that I can do the 250 meters stop, which is when me and Meg will switch and then go back is a massive, massive bonus. Finishing off today's morning workout session routine with 500 meters row. So the way that I did this, I did 250 meters, rest for 30 seconds, because realistically that's when Megan would take over and then I'd do another 250 meters. I do find again, rowing quite, difficult or uncomfortable but I think practicing these movements for me is so important and I was absolutely frazzled. That was my very sweaty today morning workout routine, my getting up, my productive mornings. I have super productive mornings and I just feel like it sets me off to a really good day. It is now half 11, we are home. Gonna eat, gonna shower, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment below what else you wanna see and have a wonderful day or evening, wherever you are in the world.